Hi, this is Chris from Tiger Moth Racing, and today I have a surprise to show you guys. We have a new machine that has uh, been brought to the shop. This is a vintage Diacro hydraulic uh, sheet metal shear. We just picked it up today, and I want to give you a quick look at uh, this machine, how it works. We will test it out and then also talk about uh, some of the machines it's gonna be replacing for us and some of the projects that we wanna do on this machine. I'm excited about this machine. This is a 52 inch Diacro hydraulic jump shear um, or sheet metal shear. And we got uh, lucky with this. I found this on Craigslist. It was not free, but uh, for what it is, it was a very good deal. What is exciting about this is we were looking at a manual machine. I wasn't even looking at uh, powered machines. Finding a used one, available for less than the cost of a new one and about comparable to the cost of a manual new one. Um, this is a great uh, solution to uh, our needs for this. And it is hydraulic, so it's 220 single phase um, electric motor feeding into a hydraulic system. And the hydraulic removes the jump shear foot pedal that you normally see on the manual machines. And I found it very interesting that even the new machines use this exact same construction of the cast iron side legs bolted into the table. And a lot of these uh, leg systems look identical, especially on the newer import machines. They're almost all the same, even though the capacity rating of the machine is different. This is an older, according to the paperwork, 1979-1982-ish uh, Diacro machine. And um, it's rated for 16 gauge mild steel. Uh, we'll probably do 14 gauge aluminum, no problem. And that's a uh, full width of cut. It does have the foot pedal and the control system on the side. Um, overall, it's a very compact machine for what uh, for what it can do, its capacity. And it does have the uh, front and back cover sheets that we don't have on right now. But with those on, it's a you know very minimal machine in the shop. We will do the usual and put it on a mobile base probably so we can wheel it around and put it out of the way when we're not using it. At this point, uh, we just need to figure out how to get it off the trailer. <laughs> The reason that I started looking at shears was because I discovered that there's a little bit of an innovation, a new kind of machine in the finger break industry also, the sheet metal bending industry. If anybody is doing sheet metal right now, I would recommend that you look, look at the Bailey and the Jet double finger breaks. Um, there's a new style of machine that has the traditional fingers on the top that are all adjustable and they have a double set on the bottom that are removable and adjustable also. And these allow you to do some very interesting bends um, backwards and high clearance bends that are very interesting. And I think moving forward, that's the machine that I'm gonna look at to get as a match to the new Diacro shear machine. One of the challenges in a lot of small shops and this shop is the decision of what size of equipment to buy for your application and your space. With the shearing machines, for example, there's a lot of used or new inexpensive 36 inch machines available. Um, but to me, those are kind of second operation machines. If you wanna do production or light production or even work with full sheets um, one at a time, then you need a 48 inch shear and a 48 inch break. Uh, to me, they're a pair and they go together. But uh, there's a big price jump to get up into the 48 inch range. 
And then if you wanna get into 16 gauge, the price goes up again. And then if you wanna get into hydraulic, the price doubles there. If you wanna get into cutting wider than four feet, you're looking at a machine that's uh, several tons and tens of thousands of dollars potentially. Um, so choosing the scale that's accessible for your shop financially and that's gonna match what you wanna do is a constant uh, struggle and it's a constant search for that new equipment. So this is the uh, jump shear that we have in the shop right now. Um, this is a 20 inch uh, or 22 inch. It's a very small old machine, it has a proportional cutting capacity to its size. It is a very old uh, cast iron machine. I can't remember exactly if this was an old Wilcox or not. They don't have a tag on them anywhere. It does have a fairly low uh, gauge cutting capacity. This is 132 aluminum and it will cut this uh, pretty easily. Another thing I wanted to mention was the difficulty in finding a good machine that will cut 16 gauge steel in a full width. The import machines, um, a lot of them based on the reviews, most of the more inexpensive ones that are rated for 16 gauge either won't actually cut it or it's so hard to do it that you wouldn't want to do it uh, you know, on a daily basis or a weekly basis anyway. It's just too hard to do it on that machine, the manual ones, um, until you jump into the hydraulic machines that are a whole nother level of cost and investment. For a home shop machine to be able to do 16 gauge is a little tricky to find one that is rated for it, that they're not lying about, and will do it easy enough to be reasonable for you to use. I was able to pick up the hydraulic diacro for, uh, you know, around the price of a new uh, manual shear that I wasn't sure was really gonna cut 16 gauge anyway. So we kind of bypassed that whole thing. Um, and I think we're gonna be really happy with this machine. It's gonna take a lot of the effort out of it. I like the manual machines. You know, I like feeling the blade cutting the material as it goes across. You don't get that with the power machines, but I think in the time savings and the effort savings, it's gonna be worth it in the end. So the question I wanna ask you is, for your sheet metal equipment, does it cut or bend the thickness of material that it is rated for? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you.